teachers be paid more if their students are successful? While everyone agrees improving student achievement is important, is merit pay really the solution? In Houston, it's an issue that has galvanized its supporters and opponents. More from NBC's Don Teague. For Monica Ramirez, teaching kindergarten in Houston is a joy. You gotta make sure that they're very, very sticky. Reading, writing songs, and sometimes painting a face or two earns her $38,000 a year. But a new program aimed at improving the performance of teachers could potentially boost her salary by as much as $3,000. How? She'll be judged by her students' test scores, merit pay, specifically based on the performance of students. Motivation is the base and the foundation of our work. If we are not motivated, we cannot motivate our kids in the classroom. Houston is the nation's largest district to adopt merit-based pay plans. Other cities like Denver and Charlotte have tried similar programs. Officials here believe pay based on merit encourages teachers to do a better job. You know, many times when a, when a school as a whole may not be performing well, it doesn't mean that on an individual basis there's not individual classrooms where, where exceptional teaching is going on. But the Houston Teachers Union vigorously opposes the plan. If you choose to teach an elective or an ancillary subject and you're not teaching a core subject, you get crumbs thrown at you. Still, with school districts desperate to raise test scores, experts say merit pay is a growing trend, but not necessarily on an individual basis. The popular plan is, is a school-wide bonus. About half the states in the country have a, a program like that. Mother Leticia Guerrero says bonus pay for teachers shouldn't be necessary. I don't really think they should receive a bonus either, you know, because, I mean, Teachers are here to teach. Which is what Monica Ramirez will do, bonuses or not. If the test doesn't show the quality of teacher I am, is not, it's nothing I can do. Except try her best one student at a time. Don Teague, NBC News, Dallas. A quick program note tonight. Tomorrow on Meet the Press, Tim Russert talks with Democrats.